Sisters, the pledges are ready. Pledges, Judy Pig and Liz Clyburn, you have successfully completed your terms as pledges and are upon the threshold of being initiated into the secret society of sisters. You have only to pass the final test, the test of courage. Upon becoming members of this society, you are immediately bound by the vows of obedience and secrecy you have taken as pledges. Any breach of these vows carries its due punishment, of which you have been told. You are reminded that acceptance of these vows is for life, and therefore not to be taken lightly. Do you do wish, you wish to, be to be so bound? I do. I do. Sister Initiator, proceed with the final test. your initiation into the sisters. Welcome, Welcome to the sisters, sisters Judy.
put a stop to those nasty rumors. Well, the only way to do that is to get him to marry me. Yes? Sylvia Woodworth, please. Do you have a wife? Mm. Yeah, I'll bet. Yes, this is Miss Woodworth. Sylvia, this is Judy Peake. Judy? This is a surprise. Oh, is it? Yes, I got your invitation yesterday. Very clever, Judy. But it must have cost you a fortune. You think I sent those out? Oh, now, Judy, come on. I love games, and I think the reunion idea is great. Uh, but even if it wasn't your idea, you still got to be involved. I don't know anyone else in our little clique with that kind of money. Uh, the only question I have is, why pass the robles? Sylvia, listen. I did not send out those invitations. I have had nothing to do with this. Do you understand? Hey. You're really upset. What's the matter? What's the matter? Sylvia, look, I can't talk about it over the telephone. Do you think you could come to my, to my place? Well, yes, but, um... I'm living at the Sweetser Plaza, Suite 105. Do you think you can make it about 8 o'clock? All right. Thanks, Sylvia. Yeah. Oh, wise spirit of truth, guide me, for I'm about to enter the valley of darkness, the darkness of my life past. Why do I feel I have to see them again? The spirit of truth tells me it is wrong. If I go, I'll bring death. And yet I feel another truth telling me I should go and join them. Penny, there is no true anywhere. The true is nowhere to be seen. You think that you have seen the true, then your seeing is not a true one. Come. 
Oh, Diana, muy bonito nombre. <ríe> ¿Quieres música? ¿Música? Sí, música. Oh, music. Oh, yeah. <ríe> your driver's license, please? Yes, officer. Francis, uh, how do you pronounce your last name? Tomalillo. It's Italian. Going too fast, huh? Certainly were, ma'am. I clocked you at 80 miles an hour. Mm. Well, look, officer. Sir, please. You know, I've just got to get to Paso Robles by noon. I've been driving all night, and I haven't stopped for any meals or anything. This will only take a few minutes. Well, if you really want to know, I've got to get to a lady's room. <laughs> all right, fast. Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to speed. Please, officer, you've got to believe me. I I'm desperate. I can't wait. If I don't get to a lady's room fast, I know what's going to happen. Young lady, that's the oldest story on the road. I've heard it twice today. I officer, I am not kidding. Now, if you won't let me get to a lady's room, would you mind directing me to the nearest bush? I'm ready to burst. All right. All right. I'll let you go this time. You'll find a gas station down the road a few miles. Oh, you big sweetheart. You know, I always knew there wasn't any truth to that police brutality stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. the only ones to show up. There's probably two of them now. Are you kidding me? Did you see the bodies in those chicks? You think some guy's gonna pay us $500 to pick up five lovely ladies like that? Ours will probably look bad. We'll see. Let's check inside. What time is it? Max. 
got a few minutes yet. Mark, don't you think something's weird about this whole thing? Joey, we got $250. We pick up five chicks, bring them to somebody's house. We pick up $250 more. That's all. Some guy we never met. Or somebody. What's the matter with you? Huh? What about Acapulco, Vegas, Miami? Did we get those jobs out of the war ads? No, but I just feel a little weird about this whole thing. I'll bet you that's number three. Starting to look a little better to you? That's nice. Penny! Diane, <laughs> hi! Boy, am I glad to see you. Familiar. Well, it's about time. Are the other girls coming? Hey, Penny and Diane. Hi! We heard Bye. Hey! Hello, you two. Well, where are you? 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 Uh, excuse me, ladies. You all part of a group called the Sisters? Yeah, why? Hi, I'm Joe. It's my friend Mark. I'm Mark Robertson. And we're going to drive you to your destination. I thought this was our destination. Uh, well, consider us, uh, well, the welcoming committee. Let me take these. Okay. I'll take your bag. Uh-uh, I'm not getting into some strange car with a couple of guys I've never seen before. Well, I'm not standing out here all day. Judy? Neither am I. Come on. Hey, Penny, don't be afraid. You won't be alone. We're all gonna go together. And, uh, strange cars are my specialty. And besides, he's cute. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You're the I world traveler. I had to. Cut off the world traveler. Right. Sweet talk. I mean, where can I go and cut off that I couldn't I go? I know I had to. If I got it. one more ticket, I'd be ruined. Like, by the way, have you seen Yeah, really. And you've got a wife with a great trip. You and the governor's son. Huh? Not for certain. Not for certain. So, really good idea. Kind of for certain. Kind of for certain. Hi, baby. Hi, babe. You Whether anybody knows it or not, we've been traveling for over an hour. Relax, relax. We'll be there soon. We're just following the map. Right, Mark? Right. Stop worrying, girl.
this is it, ladies. It looks like we're in the middle of nowhere. Look, I'm through playing games. What is this place? Lady, believe me, it's the first time I've seen it, too. Well, ladies, I guess it's about as far as we go. I mean, uh, Joey and me. What is going on? Hey, hold it. Maybe this will explain it. I'll see you. Let's go. Welcome, sisters, to Hacienda del Sol. We wish you all a very happy seven-year reunion. We hope you will find the accommodations to your liking. Enjoy yourself. Ladies, enjoy yourselves. Who planned this? My compliments. Penny. No, thank you. A toast! The, the sisters! sisters. <laughs> There's a party going on. We haven't been invited. Since when do we need an invitation? We never crashed a party before? Please, for me. I'll even drive. You're a good person. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe their boyfriend set this up? Good thinking. As one thing, we split. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Commando Kelly, looks like your party's over. See this? Mm-hmm. And this? Mm-hmm. Nothing, right? But I don't trust light bulbs.
disbeliever. Boy, you really are horny, aren't you? Are we going to let this great fool go to waste? I mean, are we? You just happen to have a bathing suit. We don't need a bathing suit. I mean, we're here alone, aren't we? Are we? Well, well of course we are. <laughs> Come on, Diane. I am just dying to see the inside of this place. And maybe we could find something to wear. Terrific. Judy? Sure. Why not? I think I'll swim in this a little while longer. Mm. Come on. <coughs> Come on, Penny. after the other. It's fantastic. The spirits here are evil. Ooh, I hope they're male. This would be a great place for an orgy. Penny, come on. Enough with the evil spirits, routine. We're going to have a ball here. I really would, Dump. I'd like to freshen up, just in case I run into a good-looking evil spirit. Oh. <laughs> hey, listen, Judy, why don't you check over on that side, and you can have the upstairs. And Penny and I will look over here. Come on. Come on, Penny. What are you doing here? This is a private party. Uh, let me explain. We were worried about you and we thought we'd come back. See if you're okay. We're fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Joe. Um, uh, just one drink. I mean, you know, we did come to see if you're all right. One. Just one. Friendly little girl, there should be more like that in the world. Thank you. 
This is really a big, big place, isn't it? All right, thank you for the drink. We'll go. Come on, Mark. Pick up. Holy she looks great. Hi. Hi. Hey, you're Judy, right? Sing with me? Mm -mm. You're a lot of fun to go out with. I like going out with you. I always feel alone. Where is everybody? It's supposed to be a party. Hey, anybody at home? Hey! Anybody home? Where's the party? Hey! You've got to be quiet. Why? Because. Shh. You wake up, Mark. He's sleeping. If you don't be quiet, Sylvia's gonna call for the cops. The cops? Yeah. So we're having a party. Well, the party's over. Now, look, you take these blankets. Oh, but this is pretty evident that you're too drunk to drive. Too drunk to drive. Shh. You're my only friend, Mark. You're the only friend I have. I'll keep. You cover nice. Who drunk to drive? I don't drink. of you, or three of you, uh -huh. or maybe even four of you, knew you were going to find it. Now, damn it, who is it? All right. That's the way you're going to be? To hell with your reading.
You're not leaving. Not yet. Sisters, welcome. Sylvia. Judy. Diane. Francie. Penny. Welcome to my home. I'm so happy you all decided to come. Seven years is a long time. You've all grown lovelier. And I, I've just grown a great deal older. But surely you haven't forgotten my daughter. Oh, my God, it's Mr. Clyburn. What do you want? One of you. The one who murdered my daughter. Oh, no, Mr. Clyburn. No one murdered your daughter. Oh, we all loved Elizabeth. That's true, Mr. Clyburn. That's true, you've got to believe that. The truth, Francie, is that she was murdered. Your daughter's death was an accident. The finding was accidental death. A tragic but accidental death. Oh, Mr. Clyburn, please. I know how, how much you loved Elizabeth. How proud you were of her talents. We were all proud just to be your friends. But now you're saying that... Very moving, Francie. But unfortunately, you're mistaken. Or lying. You see, one of you did not love my Elizabeth. One of you hated her so much that you placed a live round on the pillow and then calmly watched while her head, her beautiful head, was broken into a hundred fragments. <laughs> It's dead. Just as you should be for not following my instructions. Hey, who are you? What the hell is going on here? Your instructions were to bring those girls here and leave. Uh, listen, Mr. Uh, no, you listen. And you tell your friend exactly what I'm telling you. I could kill you, but I won't. You see, Elizabeth wouldn't like that. You had nothing to do with her murder. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anybody named Elizabeth. He's talking about his daughter. He thinks one of us murdered her. 
Can you prove that, Mr. Clyburn? Why, yes, Judy. I have a witness. You have five witnesses. We all saw it happen. You all saw the execution. But one of you saw something else before the initiation began. She saw the murderer change bullets. You're lying. Why didn't your so-called witness tell that to the police seven years ago? Because of guilt. She never dreamed the bullet was real. But she should have. She could have stopped the murderer. If that's true, then tell me who it is. Diane? Sylvia? Francie? Penny? Who? Tomorrow, Judy. Tomorrow. Everyone will know everything. No, not tomorrow. Tell us now! <laughs> is my final warning. She wasn't murdered. She wasn't. It was an accident. What? What happened? Where are the others? They're up by the fence. They're okay. What's going on? That maniac who hired us just took a shot at me. What? Judy! Judy, all right. Here, take care of her, will you? Joe. That man's got a gun. He's after the girls. Now, somehow, we have got to find out a way to turn off that fence. Get them out of here. Clyburn, he believes it. He really believes it. Right. He said he had a witness. A witness? Only a few places they put fuse boxes. My guess is the cellar. Let's find it. We just couldn't wait any longer. Everything's all right, Francie. What about them? Ladies, ladies, look, we can get out of here, but you gotta help. Now you two go with Joey. The rest of you come with me. Come on, come on. Okay, look, we can start looking now. Well, what are we looking for? Let's sell the door. Come on. Why don't you go out in the living room? I think Penny's out there and I don't... Alone? Know. It's all right. I'll go find her. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not much good to you this way. I'm, I'm really sorry.
I shut it off. I knew I threw the switch. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Alphabetically, they got a nut running around with a gun, one dead girl, and four potential victims. Six. Hey, look. This may sound wild, but you don't suppose those guys had anything to do with it, do you? I don't know. Oh, come on, Sylvia. How could they? You were with Mark all the time, weren't you? I guess so. And we were with Joey so all the time. Well, not each and every second. But... Oh, no, Sylvia. It's that madman. Anyway, we better drop it now. All right, I've got to talk to you. In fact, I've got to talk to all of you. She all right? Yeah. Now, this morning, when you and I were talking to Clyburn, he mentioned something about a witness. Oh, he's crazier than I thought. If he is telling the truth, it means that one of you is working with him. Look, I'm just trying to find out what the hell is going on here. All right, Mark, enough of this. I'm sitting here accusing one another. We should be trying to find a way to get the hell out of here. Yeah, Joe, you're right. Just that I can't seem to come up with any good escape plans today. Hey, Mark. Hmm? We gotta think of something pretty quick. It's not gonna stay daylight forever. You got any ideas? No, but I know one thing that keeps going through my mind. When it gets dark, that joker up there is gonna be able to get to those girls. And what'd you just say? You heard me. I said when it gets dark, he's going to be able to get to those girls one by one. Especially if they're inside and alone.
call to those girls out the waiting rooms. Well, come on, how long? Until that joker comes down the stairs. anyway. Look, now Clyborne may be crazy, but that man is not dumb. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I'm not, Diane. Honest, I'm not. Look, I'll prove it to you. I really would like to take a shower. Now that you're here, I I'm going to. Francie. You can't take a shower. Clyborne, I know, Clyborne, I really feel icky, you know? So I'm going to take a shower. And it is going to be a nice, long, hot shower. And besides, those scissors are enough to scare off anybody. I'll see you in a little bit. Francie, I really don't think you should take a shower. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness, right? So I figure if I'm next to him, Clyborne won't get next to me. Smart check.
It's it's okay, honey. Where are the others? Francis and Shower. It's okay. Now look, you go with Joe and get him. Sylvia and I'll get Judy. We'll meet outside near the gate. Come on, hurry. Mark, there must be planes flying over here every day. Why don't we put an SOS sign up on the roof? I thought it was a good idea. Mark, listen, that water gets out of here by going under. Yeah. Now, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's worth a try. I'll go look for a shovel. You take care of the girls. Get out of this. This will work. What if it doesn't? We'll think of something else. Okay? I figured out how to make the SOS sign. You did? Hmm? Come on. You're beautiful. <laughs> Here. Mistake, it's a beaut. Never dreamed it would turn out this way. Penny. Francie. I just never dreamed. 
I know. I just keep wondering which one of us is next. Where's Joe and Diane? Up at the house. Diane had some idea about making an SOS sign. Let's get started. I'm going to need your help. Okay? My ankle, I think. You're gonna be all right. You're sure? Look, stay here and rest. I'll be right back. has been since I've done an honest day's work. Hey, don't worry. We're going to get out of here. What's the difference? It'll never be the same. My career, my future, everything. Box had nothing to do with it. The fence is run by this thing. Go get Mark. Well, there goes another brilliant idea shot to hell. That damn thing could go down ten feet. Now, where the hell did she go? <gasps> Sylvia! Oh, my God! Sylvia! Hey, Judy! Judy, wait a minute! Mark! Mark! Joe needs you. Is Sylvia with you? No. Come on! He found the power source. He needs you over there. Look, you go get Judy. Tell her we'll find Sylvia. Then both of you come back here and wait for us. Come on, 
you bastard! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Reunion. Hasn't it, sister? to our reunion. Come in, Mark. You'll enjoy watching this. Where's Mark? Mark! Drop it! Over there. Move! Mark! He can't help you, Judy. No one can. You see, we set a trap and you fell for it. I didn't see anyone change the bullets, Judy. We made that story up. We were only going to terrorize the sisters until the right one confessed. But things didn't quite work out that way, Judy. The right one. The right one, the guilty one, started killing the others off. You know who the guilty one is, don't you, Judy? No. I didn't kill anyone. You murdered my Elizabeth. Sophie, what's the matter with you? It's him. Can't you see that? He's insane. Yes. Yes, I might be. You killed my daughter. I wanted to die. But I had to go on living for seven years. Sweet little Judy. You're a killer. You'd kill anyone to get what you want. And right now you want to marry the governor's son. Don't you? What did you want so badly? You killed my daughter. Mr. Clyburn, I told you. Elizabeth was beautiful. 
and talented. Judy wanted to be number one. She couldn't while Elizabeth was alive. Mr. Clyburn, please, she's lying. She's just saying all those things because she knows, she knows that she's more responsible than any of us for Liz's death. She's the one who pulled that trigger. Did you tell him that you pulled the trigger? Yes, I pulled the trigger! I pulled the trigger and my life was over! Do you know what my life has become since that night? I've become a drunk and a whore. I was ready to commit suicide. Mr. Clyburn convinced me. My sister sent me out. You wanted Liz murdered. And you set me up to do your killing. Sophia, I was a pledge. Oh, yes, you were a pledge. And you were nervous. Oh, you want to know everything where you would kneel. How the bullets would be placed on the pillow. Everything! And like a fool, I told you! Yes. It's true. I did want to know everything, but not because I was nervous. Because you wanted to murder Liz. No, Sylvia. I had to know everything. Because Liz asked me to. Sir Clyburn, please. I never dreamed she was planning suicide. You're lying. No. That's a secret I've had to carry for seven years. Suicide. Huh. Because of you? Mr. Clyburn, music was your world. Not Liz's. But she just couldn't refuse you. No. It's not true. Not true! It is true! Now can we please stop this insanity? Yes, I'll stop it. Right now. We're going to relive the initiation, Judy. Well, I'll tell you everything that's going to happen. That's a Gatling gun, Judy. Mr. Clyburn made all the bullets. Some are real and others are not. Does that bring back memory? Mr. Clyburn, turn the crank. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't real. You were lucky, Judy. Just like seven years ago. Stop it, please! Let's try it again, Mr. Clyburn.
We made it. Mark? I made it. 